let's talk about free education in America. No tuition for all enrolled students for bachelor's degree to this particular college I'm going to talk today. We usually praise a lot about Norway with no tuition in the fees for all international students. But there is one college here in America has a hundred percent free education for all enrolled students in that particular college. And I've been talking, especially for international students, that it is very practically difficult to find schools which offer a hundred percent scholarships for international students when they come to do bachelor's degree here in the United States. Oh, all over the world, most women, I mean, it's very, very difficult. But today I'm coming with the good news to give a detailed account of Berea College. This college is in the greatest state of Kentucky, in the city of Berea. Berea College is the only college in the United States of America which has or which provides a hundred percent scholarships or funding to all a hundred percent enrolled international students from first year until you graduate there is what is called no tuition promise so with no tuition promise what does it even mean? It means Berea is the only college in the United States or in America top colleges that makes a no tuition promise to every enrolled student. I'm just talking about international students, but even Americans, if you get enrolled in Berea College, you are not paying tuition and fees. I mean, tuition is a 100% guarantee to enroll. How do they do that? <laughs> even, is it even possible? Yes, it's possible. They have uh, the tuition promise scholarship or tuition, tuition promise scholarship that uh, which makes possible to graduate debt free. You know, it's very expensive to start that one. So I'm going to explain in detail how and the, how can you apply to Berea College and how are you going to be uh, guaranteed to get 100% uh, fully funding uh, to all enrolled students at Berea College in the greatest city of Kentucky. Welcome everyone. This is Ernest Boniface Macquarie EBM. Welcome to the EBM Scholars Show. If today is your first time, you are in the right place. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and share the video. Share especially this video to the parents. Share this video to the people who are in high school. Share this video to the people who are already in college. They want to know what are their options. And I'm talking about Berea College. So don't ask me about what about Canada? What about other countries? I'm not talking about other countries. I'm talking about the university or college which guarantees free education to all enrolled students even international so we are talking about the international students how does it work all international students are provided with a paid on campus job through what is called the college work program for those who have been here they call college work program they know it so throughout the academic year you will be given what is called the uh, college uh, work program where uh, in that particular way you'll be able to get uh, the money for what we call the living expenses while tuition has been covered already so that is number one you need to know that but how do international students apply and what is the deadline so first of all application for for Berea college it's now free of charge. You don't need to pay even a single dollar to apply for Berea College. No admission fee. We usually talk about this university as a this admission fee. No admission fee, application fee, when you apply at Berea. That's number one. Application dates. 
the deadline for application. First of all, you have to know that international students don't go to any semester they want to go to study. International students only start their academic year in the fall. The fall semester, for those who do not understand, is the one which you start in the middle or end of August. That is the fall semester. That is the new academic year. So international students cannot apply for the spring, cannot apply to start at the beginning of January, February, uh, or March, whatever, or go to summer school to apply to start. No, you are applying for the new academic year to start every year. It will be starting in the month of end of August or August, which you call the fall semester. So that is what you are applying for that. Secondly, the deadline for the application. So you are applying for the next or the following year. The deadline is November 30th. November 30. Each year, the deadline for the uh, application for international students to go to study bachelor's degree for Berea College is November 30. It used to be application is only by pdf printed documents so you have to print and write but now you can apply directly from the university portal online they encourage everybody to do online application i think partly because of the pandemic to start so you have to do online application but in case it's practically difficult for you to do online application you are allowed to print out the pdf documents and you can be able to apply and write it and send it by postal I will give the address but it has to come early remember if you wait until november end of november then to send it you'll be in so much trouble i will explain that so when you apply as i said the deadline is november 30th you will start getting the update end of january on january 31st you'll get the application status update that's number one and then the decision whether you have been admitted or not will be given on March 31st. When you are given that you have been admitted, that means you have been guaranteed money. For international students, I communicated with Berea one time. I mean, they wrote to me when they saw one of my video, when I talked about Berea College, they thanked me and they said, average, it is a very competitive application. They get about 300 applications from international students each year to go to study there and their capacity to take international students for bachelor's degree is about 30 students each year so if they're taking 30 students so i want you to understand when i'm going to explain what documents do you need to have it means you have to be very careful you have to make sure that you follow all the procedures there is no exception when they say you need to have this type of examination this type of results you must have them if you don't have them and you are expecting them to feel sorry, to have the sympathy for you because you are coming from a poor country, they don't care about that. If you don't have what document they, they, they want, game over. So the notification or the results will be on March 31st. And then, so once you get admitted, there is something is called deposit. I will talk about the deposit. There is a deposit about $50. You will send that one. Uh, it's just like to confirm it that I'll be coming, kind of that. And then you have to pay $2,000. Uh, that usual is the money. You send it just commitment. But once you go there, that money will be given back to you. Uh, but it will be given each, uh, each year. They give one five hundred or 1000 whatever they give back to your account. But if you don't have that 2000 you will say, you will tell them, I don't have even that 2000 They will give scholarship for that just in case after being admitted so, but don't worry about being uh, that is the later steps the first step is to be admitted first as i said there are about 300 people and they get about 30 uh they can admit 30 people so what are the items which are required to complete this application when i say to complete if you don't have these items your application is not complete that means they are not processing no hard feeling this is incomplete application they say do one two three four item number one tick two tick three tick four tick F the fifth one don't have it's over 
one, 30 seconds they have made a decision, your application is incomplete. So number one, it will be the international uh, application for admission. There will be the application which I'll go to show you, uh, I'll be able to show you uh, how does it go. As I said, nowadays you can be able to do online. And what courses can you be able to apply? Berea College has any course you want. Any course you want. And remember, education in America, the first and the second year, you are studying just like the general, most almost all subjects. And we call freshman and the sophomore. And then there is junior and then in senior year, which is the fourth year. So the first two years, basically, is just like a general. And then the third year is when you specialize. So you cannot come here like how we study in our countries. I from day one, I'm political science. I'm I'm just studying this one. No, you study like general, then you can go to specialize. Uh, the way you go on the third year. So there are a few things you need to have or to make sure you have. Number one, you have to fill the application form. I will show you the application form in a PDF, but you have to fill it online. But the only people can fill it on PDF are those who completely have no access to the internet. So then in that form, there will be a personal essay. So there will be an essay you have to write it. We'll talk about it. It's just like the statement of purpose, who you are in terms of education and work experiences. Even if you're high school, you need to have work experience, volunteering, internships. That's where they separate you from other person. You are 20 years old, you finish high school, 19 years old, 20, you have never done anything, you are not going to get it. Then you need to have a copy, official copy of secondary school reports. Then they must be in English, if they're not in English. Uh, meaning, if you have your transcript, and if you have the teacher, they, they have also those like progressive report, just add all of them, whatever it is. Then you must have two teachers' recommendations. So there are recommendation forms. You have to fill those two recommendation letters from your teachers, and it must be in English. Again, there is one financial form. Uh, it's called the Financial Resource Confirmation Form, and also it's supposed to be in English. This is also they go to look at what is your income. Do you have a house? Do your parents own this? Whatever. So it's just like a financial questionnaire form to see if you can qualify because they want to give people who don't have enough money. And obviously, you don't have enough money. So you can fill that form also in English. Then you need to have the copy of one of the following. You have to have one of the following exams. You must have. Failure to have this one. They are not going to process your application. You must have either the test of English as a foreign language 12 exam. If you don't have that one, you need to have the British version of the English professions test, which is called the International English Language Testing System. If you don't have that, you need to take the exam is called the ACT. If you don't have that one, you have to take the exam is called the SAT. If you don't have that one, you take the exam is called the Duolingo. You have to take one exam of those, not two. If you go to, go to other universities, as international students, you have to take the ACT or SAT, one exam, and you have to take one of the English proficients. But for Berea, they give you the chance, just take one exam out of all those five options. TOEFL, ILTs, ACT, SAT, Duolingo, out of these five exams, take one exam. And the, if you want, they have their, their grades. Like what is course do you need to have when you go uh, to apply for, uh, for, 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 for this particular program. So, so those are the things first of all you need to have. The application is free of charge. Is it free? You don't pay anything to apply for, for Berea. So the, if I want to give you just a, a quick, a quick uh, results, what do you need to have as a score for those exams I've said? If you take the TOEF exam, so the TOEFL exam, test of English as a foreign language, they used to have the paper exam, computer-based exam, and internet-based exam. So many countries nowadays, they have internet-based exam. The internet-based exam, the difference from the paper, paper-based, you cannot talk, there is no speaking. So you need to have 520 paper-based exam, which you don't do that one. Uh, computer-based is 190 exam, 
uh, computer based it doesn't have speaking if not mistaken and then there is internet based which you will be able to do you get 68 out of 120 68 is easier to get so try your best to get the internet based exam and take the TOEFL that one but if you take the english of british british version you need to take the six as overall and the minimum five in each section when i say each section writing reading listening speaking you must get at least five but overall you need to get six one place to get seven one in six and a half but whatever you come to some find the average you need to get six out of ten and then if you take act you need to get the uh 19 is composite if you take the sat you need to get a uh, compound score of 980 so i'll give you those one and if you take the duolingo i've never done that exam you need to get 95 uh that exam yeah so all applicants must submit one of those exams there are no exceptions to this requirement this is written on their website no exceptions don't say my father passed away don't say i'm orphan don't say i don't have internet they don't care if you don't have it's okay stay there in your own country they'll give someone else who has taken the exam yeah, so, and usually remember the TOF exam or the English proficient test must be within two years. We have already talked about the application deadline, November 30th. International students are only applying uh, in the month of, uh, they start in the month of August. So, I said you'll be able to, required to pay $50 as entrance fee and a deposit of 2200 that is will be in the month of may after knowing you have been admitted at end of the end of march march 31st so the payment must be made by may 1st but students who have been offered the admission at berea will receive a letter from the office of admission with all those specific information and once you pay the 50 dollar and 2200 you will be receiving the i20 so that you can be able to do that but the college, Berea College, has resources, has some sorts of financial aid to help to cover this amount, depending upon the student family financial circumstances. So if your family financial circumstances is not strong, you cannot pay that $50, you cannot pay that $2,200, they will pay for you, there will be some financial support on that, and then they can send you directly the I-20. And I-20 is immigration form number 20, which you'll be able to use to go and uh, use that form to use to go to apply for the visa. Uh, so, as I said, uh, Berea, that college has about 14,000 people. That is a small college, kind of that, uh, is in the state of Kentucky. Uh, so, they have so many programs. So, the programs, I don't know, I, I mean, there are so many programs, and you are about to apply to a program. Uh, you can apply programs in African American program studies, agriculture, operation studies, art history, Asian studies, biology, business, chemistry, economics, education studies, engineering, foreign studies, uh, foreign languages, general studies, health, English, history, mathematics, music, nursing, peace and social uh, social justice studies, philosophy, uh, political science, physics, psychology, sociology, uh, studies of social, of religions and spiritual, spirituality, sustainability and environmental studies, theater, women studies, all those you can be able to study them there uh, to be able to do that. So you can apply any program. There is no restriction that if you apply for this program, that is when you are going to give you the money. No. Once you apply and get admission, you are going to do that make sure that you have good results not the bad results you cannot even you finish high school in your country you cannot even be admitted in your own university in your own country because of the bad results and you expect you are going to compete and get admission to berea let's be serious on this one you have to have good results even to compete in your own country first before you apply for berea you apply to come for next year so that is something you need to make sure that you have 
you make sure that you are ready to do that the next step i'm going to record the screen i'm going to show you on the screen what i said oh just in easy way i don't need to record the screen i'm going just to give you the link where you are going to apply just make sure that you follow the procedures simple like that if you follow the procedures the application form if you have any question just let me know i'll be happy to help you but don't forget to subscribe to ebm scholars don't forget to share this video to others don't forget to like this video make sure so many people have this information especially parents so that when they make a decision to help children to come to study in america there is a free education at Beria College. Thank you so much. This is Berea College. You can see the environment. In order to apply, you go to the website www.berea.edu and I've been saying the deadline for the applying for the admissions as international student is November 30th. And if you want to apply, you'll go to www.berea.edu slash admissions. And I'm going to show you the steps to go about it to apply at Berea College. So on the website, when you go to berea.edu, the main website, which is this one, uh, you can see uh, what I was talking about, no tuition. So this is their advertisement about no tuition. Let me read that one before I continue. So they say, why no students pay the tuition? So it is 100% free education for all enrolled students at Berea College. So they are explaining, uh, since the uh, Berea College was founded in 1855, 1855 uh, so it has been doing, so this, if you want, you can go and go and read more and more, but all in all, uh, they don't have uh, tuition and fees. So this is why uh, it's called no tuition promise. You can see here, when they say no tuition promise, meaning Berea is the only uh, uh, is only one of the American top colleges that makes a no tuition promise to all enrolled students. No student pays uh, for tuition at Berea College. Our generous tuition uh, tuition promise makes it possible for you to graduate debt free, even if you borrow for special learning opportunities or to replace your family total contribution you will have a loaded compared to a national trends uh we sometimes call berea the best educational money can't buy so that is just i want to mention about that way about the no tuition promise so if you go to the top there is admission if you click admission it will open remember i've said the application is free of charge 100% free of charge. You don't need to apply and pay for the uh, application fee. So that is the website uh, for the uh, for the application. So there are a couple of things you can be able to do. Uh, if you want, you can look about the eligibility and all other kind of things. But let's go directly to, uh, when you click apply, it will take you to the place where you can be able to apply as for free. So say apply for admission. Uh, as a first year student, if you'll be first time domestic non-international college freshman, uh, it's never intended, so you can apply here as a freshman, first year. But again, uh, if you want to apply as a transfer, someone is already here, uh, already at, uh, is a domestic student, that means he's a student in the US and want to change the college. But if you want to apply as international, if you're international student, you apply here and he's also apply for free so you click here apply for free apply as international student and it will be applied for free Berea college has a long history for coming uh, students from all nationalities religious faith races ethnicity if you come to Berea you will surely be welcomed the admissions at Berea is competitive as I mentioned on the original when I was talking I said 
uh, according to the email they sent me or the message they sent me, they have over uh, 300 applicants each year and they take 30 applicants. So students are encouraged to read all information provided here before submitting application. So this is to apply for free, but before you go to apply for free, deadline is November 30th. Status update, the first update, they'll give January 31st. And on March 31st, they are going to make the decision whether you have been admitted or not. And then on May 1st is a deposit due. I've been talking about deposit. You'll be out, uh, you'll be able to do that. I'll explain you again if you didn't get it. But the application needs to have the following. Uh, they want nowadays, it used to be application was just a PDF. I'll talk about the PDF application. It used to be a PDF application, but now they want all materials should be submitted via the application portal online. So if you click here, it will take you to the uh, applying for Berea online. So you can read the information, but also uh, you can be able to click here to start application. If you click here, start application, it will go a place where you are going to create your account. Uh, you are going to create a new account if you're brand new, but or you can click here, create account. Or if you have you have already have an account, you can click log in and continue. But I'll talk about the essay, but I've talked about the copy. So first of all, you have to fill the admission form, which will be online. But only the people who don't have access to computer more, whatever that they can only fill a PDF and send it through a normal way. But do online application quicker, faster. And then there'll be the essay. I'll talk about the personal essay, then copy of your uh, school records, uh, two recommendation letters from your teachers. And there is uh, uh, what we call the financial questionnaire. You have to go through, I will show you. And the copy of the reports of at least one. You need to take one exam out of these, either TOF, TOF exam, LTS, ACT, uh, SAT, or uh, Duolingo, one of these exam. So that is what you need to take. Uh, so, uh, after those one, uh, let me go to this so that I can show you some of the uh, what I've been talking about. So, I'm showing the PDF, uh, but you don't need a PDF because you're going to fill it online. So, this is the application form, but also uh, just what is going to give you, let me make it bigger so that you can be able to do. So is application, when you get admitted automatically, you are going to be uh, given uh, uh, financial, financial support. So I've been talking about everything. So everything is the same, what I've been talking about, uh, that for those people who have been admitted, uh, those who have been admitted, I said you will be able to pay one time only $50 is enrollment fee and deposit 2,200 uh, before coming to Berea. But for those people uh, who have exception who don't have the money, students may apply for an exemption uh, to pay in the deposit fee if they're inadequate to their family finances. So the Berea will be able to, uh, to do that, will be able to give some funding uh, for that. The funding provided by Berea College uh, includes a cost of education, uh, tuition for up to four years, Cost for room and board are covered by completely for the first year. And then from there, you'll be given what is called the money. You'll be given the job or work study, and then you'll be paid for that. So these are the programs I was talking about. You see every program you want to study, they're here. Accounting, uh, African-American and African and African-American studies, agriculture, Appalachian, applied art, history, whatever. So every course you might start or you might think about, they are there. So these are the grades. If you take one of the exam, you have to take one of the exam and they give the, the, the test results. Majority of people, when they take the TOEFL, they will be taking the IBT. So make sure that you take one of the exam and they have what they call the code for the school. So this is the Berea school code for the exam you have to take. Uh, what is included in the application packet? So obviously, uh, the will be able to talk about the essay. Uh, I will be able to talk about that, the, uh, the test you need to have that one and do other kind of things. And remember, uh, if you don't take the, the test, uh, the, one of those tests, uh, you will not be, uh, you will not be able to be allowed. Yeah. So uh, let me go to, 
let me go to the application form. So the application form is very simple. It is starting with the, if you use the, if you fill this paperwork, but you don't fill the paperwork, nowadays they encourage after the pandemic to fill the online version. If you use the paperwork, remember you have to use the black ink. So it's the first one is the personal information, your name, address, uh, email address, your citizenship, country of birth, country where you live today, residence, marital status, native language, applic uh, uh, applicants, uh, your number of whatever. So you put all the information, you are, what is the major you are intending. If you undecided, you cannot put undecided, so you have to choose one of those one. Uh, then uh, academic history, uh, maybe primary school, bachelor degree, whatever you, I mean, I mean, primary school, junior high school, and high school, because you're applying for bachelor degree. Uh, then, uh, have you ever visited US? You put the answer, these are st straightforward equations. And then you, you go to sign those one, and then you have to accept uh, all these, you have to accept all these one, and you'll be able to accept them. You have to understand all those kind of things. Then you are going to come to the essay. But remember, you have to go on the, you'll be able to answer online, but this is just the essay question. The essay question is, Suppose it to be this essay should be at least five pages, two to five pages maximum, preferable typed, double space, not less than 10 uh, uh, fonts, so 10 or 11, whatever. Should include your name, whatever, but obviously you have to type it. So the essay should address the following. Number one is an overview of your education and life experiences. Like your work experience, what have you been doing uh, since you were born up to now? Uh, when they say life experience, they don't want to explain about uh, just too much unnecessary things. You have to put the things which will help you to the admission. What you plan to do after completing your start education. And then what you explain here, obviously has to let here, why you wish to return or not to return to your home country. Remember, you have to put any application, they give you scholarship, they also, on your plan, you have to indicate what, how are you going to help your community or your country. Even if you are planning to stay here, just indicate what you are going to do when you go back. And then the description of ways you have positively impacted your community already up to this moment. So that is the essay you will be able to write on that one. And then this is what I call the financial, uh, financial questionnaire. So obviously in this one, they want to, to know uh, your marital status of your parents. They want to know, because they know you are, you are still a, a child, whatever, you are maybe 17, 18, whatever. So they want to know, uh, including yourself, how many they are there, what is the income of your father or your mother, uh, all those kind of things, uh, family assets, do you have own land, what is the total number of savings in US dollars. Obviously, most of these will be having small amount of money, basically. Uh, so you feel that one, uh, when you finish that one, and then you are coming on the last page is just the uh, recommendation letters from, from your teachers. So two of your teachers have to write uh, their name, how long have they known you and in what capacity, and then they'll be able to tick or because they'll be filling the, using the pen, uh, the, the pen. So we'll be able to explain the, all of these kind of with, with ethics and all these kind of things. And also the recommended information and also they'll be able to write something, but remember it will be online at the moment to explain additional, any additional information, it will be able to help you to get admission at Berea. So these are two recommendation letters for your, uh, for your uh, teachers to recommend you. And then the financial research confirmation form, uh, primary source of income is from, if it's just like a job, whatever, uh, all these kind of things, when you finish, that will be all. So that will be the complete application form and the essays, just like I've been able to say, and you attach all those documentations and you'll be able to submit. Again, I'm going to put all this information uh, on this uh, video description in the comment. Make sure that you go and you read every single thing because it's very competitive. Uh, if you you read about the frequent ask questions uh they are explaining about the test and everything i uh so they are explaining like all applicants must submit tests and they say here there are no exceptions 
to this requirement. So don't ask me, you know, I live in a country where there is so much COVID. So can I ask for exemption? They say they don't give any exemption. So if you don't, you cannot take any of these tests, don't waste your time to apply or ask me about, uh, I cannot do this exam, I don't have the money. I don't have the money either. So you can go and read some of these questions, whatever, and go and do your own application. Application can be able to be done online. And that is the website. Again, I like, I want you to do something for me. I want you to make sure that you go and uh, do simple thing. Go and uh, send this video link to other people. Send it to different teachers, to different high schools, to different people from the university so that they can be able to share to others also they can be able to benefit. This is Berea College the only college in the United States which has no tuition for all students. The, it has only bachelor's degree or undergraduate studies, so don't ask about the master's or PhD, only bachelor's degree. And the uh, deadline for applying for international students is November 30th to start studies in August the following year. And the website to apply direct, you can go to berea.edu slash admissions. Uh, before we finish, Again, you have to make sure that you go to my YouTube channel. I have two YouTube channels. One is English, one is Swahili. The Swahili one is called youtube.com slash EBM Swahili. Go and subscribe there. You'll be able to find there. For those people who are looking for so many scholarships, make sure you also go to scholarships, uh, ebmscholarships.com. Uh, if I show you uh, the website, you'll be able to also get the free books on this one. You can come here and download this book. Even if this book is said PhD scholarships for Africans in the United States, but you can also get the book. Uh, the book can be also help you to apply also for bachelor's, master's uh, in Europe or is in America. You can have recommendation letters. All the information you need to know, uh, they'll be there. So it's just up to you to be able to utilize these opportunities. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and share to so many other people who will be able to benefit from this type of information. Again, this is Ernest Bonfas Makurilo, EBM from the EBM Scholars, talking to you from my home office here in Belton, Missouri, United States of America. And goodbye.